All right, here's a question. It looks like it's a quadratic thing that I have to solve. I know it's a quadratic because when I multiply this times this, that'll be 3t squared, and this times this will be plus t. So if there's a t squared, it's a quadratic equation. Okay, is equal to 2. If it's quadratic, I need to bring everything over to this side. So it'll be 3t squared plus t minus 2 equals 0. And now I need to factor this. So to factor it, uh, let's use the AC method. So 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. So two numbers that multiply to a negative 6, and they have to add to a positive 1. So uh, minus 3 times a positive 2, uh, that's a negative 1. No. Oh, so it'll have to be a 3 and a negative 2. Okay, so I'm replacing that middle term with these two numbers. So 3t squared plus 3t, minus 2t, minus 2 equals 0. Now, since there's four terms, I'm going to group factor. So I'll pull a 3t out of those first two, leaving me with a t plus 1. And then let's divide, what will divide into both those? A negative 2, negative 2. And when I divide negative 2 into both of these, I get a t. Negative 2 divided negative 2 is a positive 1, equals 0. Now, uh, since this term and this term both have a t plus 1 in it, I can write t plus 1, and then I'll write 3t minus 2 equals 0. Finally, uh, since I have this t plus 1 times this equals 0, one of them has to be 0. So t plus 1 is 0, or... 3t minus 2 is 0. And then solve each equation. I'll subtract 1 from each side there, so this t will be equal to a negative 1. On this side, I'll add 2 to both sides, so it'll be 3t is equal to a positive 2. Then I'll divide both sides by 3. I get t is equal to 2 thirds. So there's my two answers for that one. Here's another minus 5x equals 18 plus 2x. If it's a quadratic, I need to bring both of these things over to this side. So I'll have x squared minus 5x minus 18 minus 2x is equal to 0. Notice how if, when I brought them over, I changed their sign from positive to negative. Positive to negative. Now I can collect like terms, so I'd have x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals 0. Now I can factor. Since there's just uh, a 1 in front of the x squared, um, I could do the AC method, but it's easier just to look for two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7. So multiply to negative 18, and they have to add to a negative 7. So uh, negative 6 times 3, yeah, that doesn't add to 7. Um, how about 9 and a negative 2? Those multiply to negative 18, but they add, oh, that adds to a positive 7, not that one. Oh, so I just switched the sign. So minus 9 and a positive 2. Those are my two right there. So I put a minus 9 here, positive 2 there is equal to 0. Same thing, I use a 0 property. So I'll have x minus 9 is equal to 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Add 9 to both sides, add or subtract 2 from both sides. So there's my two answers. Here's another question that's similar. You don't have to solve it, but it's one where you have to factor. Um, I forget what the question was. It was, oh, let me just see if I can pop it in here. There we go. Okay, I'm still recording. Good. All right, so the question is just to factor this. So to factor this, uh, since there's four terms, I'm going to group factor. So out of the first two, I think I can divide evenly into both an x squared, leaving me with an x plus 3. And then out of these two, since there's a negative, it's, it has to be a negative, and I think 4 will divide evenly into both of those. 
So I'm going to divide each by negative 4. So negative 4x divided by negative 4 is just an x. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is a positive 3. Okay, so here's a term, here's a term. They each have an x plus 3 in it, so I can factor an x plus 3 out, and that leaves me with x squared minus 4. Now this, this one here, uh, this is known as a difference of square, so I can actually go one step further, where if it's a difference of two things that are squared, I can put an x here and an x here, split the 4 into a 2 and a 2, one's a minus, one's a plus. So this would be the full factorization of that question there. All right, hopefully that helps you.